hello everybody. Welcome back. The second of two semifinals. We just witnessed a barn burner. Wow. I was watching from the back. Yep. So it was about a 10 second delay. So I knew there was action happening in the gym and then I would see it on the monitor oh, in the coach's yeah. room. Unbelievable, Raymond. Unbelievable. The comeback. The comeback. For the so, so, so Raymond has solidified their spot in the final at night at nine tonight. This is their third time at Brit. This is their third time making the final. The first two times they were runners up. They're not planning on being runners up this year. Yes, yeah, the last time they were here was the last Brit that we had. That's right. And they lost to uh, Hansworth. That's right. Wow. And they're gonna play the winner of this match. Okay. Coming up right now, Walter Murray Collegiate Saskatoon, the Marauders against Riffle Royals from Regina. This is an all Saskatchewan battle. Okay, yeah, and you know, just when I thought I didn't have enough left in the tank after that game last night, mm. Walter Murray holding on. That, that was That quarterfinal game that Walter Murray played last night, that was one for the ages. And then we had this previous semifinal. So we've been treated to some major, major entertainment major here. Major entertainment. This is wild. I'm I'm having an absolute blast here. Yeah, it's been, uh, and the weather's been great. The Brit dogs, piping hot. Piping, the, oh. the Brit dogs are better What's than ever. What's our tally? We're up to, oh, scratch another one. I had one in the back. You did, hey? Yeah, so th so that's, that's 15 Brit dogs. I'm personally responsible for about five. Nice. Four. I think I'm on four. Nice work. I'm excited for this matchup. Okay. Actually, so I'm, I'm still riding high from that last one. Yeah, wow, what a game. Yeah, you were in the booth, so, uh, yeah. Amazing, amazing, amazing. The Battle of the Blue and White here, it looks like. Okay, so we've got Ripple. Out of Regina, in the white, and Walter Murray Marauders, the local. Dacho Fontaine blue. versus Davin Berry taking that jump ball. Oh, Okunde puts Riffle on the board first. Yeah. The two points. He, he's sort of a top five player in the province. He, uh, he was impressive last night. Very impressive. Speaking about top five players in the province, gonna, gonna shine some light here on Zach Hawley, number one for Walter Murray. He's oh, a grade yes. nine starter. He was impressive last night. I was a little worried at the end of the game, you know how he pulled up? Looked like he kind of tweaked his hip. Yeah, like yeah, that. took a knee. Yeah, or... and we, were, we were both commenting on uh, hopefully, you know, he looks fine. He, lo he looks fine today. Uh, and, and no, sh I, I was kind of worried. Well, it, as a grade nine, kind of coming into Brit, how's he going to handle the pressure? He's handling it just fine. But now I'm finding out this guy plays everywhere at the highest level. He's on a travel team. He plays a, a, a traveling team out of Calgary called Genesis. Um, they play in the Maid Hoop USA Tour. He plays on a traveling team called Canada Elite, based out of Toronto. They're the best Toronto, Ontario. They're the best club in Canada. Wow. I mean, throwing this out there. Could he be the best grade nine point guard in the country? Well, time will tell. I mean, he's definitely good. He's I'll very say good. that. <laughs> and, and you know, and he's got support here for, from a wide cast of characters. But yesterday, I think his his main support—not even his main support, but he is sort of the guy, the guy that he that he. Oh, sorry, I get to you. But Dylan Morin. Oh yes. Of Walter Murray. Yep. Putting on a three-point clinic. There's Holly right there. And Dylan Moore, number three. Oh. Ooh. Couple bounce straight back for Holly. Holly actually won the three-point competition at the, the pep rally he yesterday. Did. I was uh, I was watching right from here. And yesterday Dylan Moore was shooting the threes, putting the lights out. Oh! oh. What a block! Dejo Fountain. Battle of the salad there, number six for uh, Marauders having none of it. Shutting down uh, Tylion Okaya. Oof. Um, these these teams, Hol Holy Cross, Riffle, Walter Murray, th those are the top three sort of ranked teams in the province here on any given day. I think any one of these teams could be a number one team. Well, it's just, you know, I always, I'm always fascinated by the turnaround. Like these, these young guys play so much ball in such a short period of time. Totally. Fast-paced, hard ball, you're right. And sometimes, you know, four hours between games type of thing. Okunde has it for Riffle. 
He's gonna, he found some space, going to drive, puts it in. Gets him up, four to two. Another fellow, this Davin Berry, six foot eight, grade 10 forward. He's number 21. Oh, does not. For the well. Riffle Royals, I'm loving this guy. Blown yeah, away by a, his size and agility. Yeah, he looks like an offensive lineman. Yeah. I imagine if you're if you're Riffle's football coach, the first time you laid eyes on that guy, you're like, yep. Yeah, I'll take him. Yeah, I'll, I'll be putting him to work. He's gonna be busy down low. Dylan Morin. And does a good job drawing the foul. <laughs> he leaned into that one a little bit and sold it. This gym is packed here on a Saturday afternoon. Slowly heating up. This is awesome. If you're watching at home and you have the ability to get down here today, don't stay at home. Come check this out. Be part of it. Dylan Morin gives Walter Murray their first lead. Okunde's going to inbound the ball. Okaya has it. To Thompson, back to Okaya. Okunde has it at the top. Ooh, nifty little move to create space. Gets it outside. Three point shot. Oh, wow. Nin Gonzalez. 4-3. Yeah, making it look easy from the uh, from the cornfield. Morin throwing up the devil horns. What? <laughs> oh, and Zach Hawley <laughs> manages the takeaway after Morin hits the three. These two are quite a pair. They are, and you know, unassuming. They are unassuming, both of them. Thought there could have been a foul called there. Holly does a good job to keep it in. Osaya. Wow. Osaya, Okaya. Oka Okaya? We're going to go with Okaya, hard C. We're going to go Okaya. Lauren. Oh, Zach Holly fake the pass. Drives baseline. These teams exchanging leads here in the for first quarter. Steal for Walter Murray. Zach Holly for three. Mohamed Yunus set that up by creating the turnover. Timeout called. They're like in that 13 to nine, Walter Murray. The pace has been set. Oh. It will be torrid. Ref referees having a bit of a conversation with the Walter Murray bench. Don't know what's going on there. A bit of a warning for something. And now it looks like the riffle bench wants to have a few words with the ref. Yeah, charades as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> yeah, right. A lot of hand signals, a lot of body movement. Two words, yeah, sounds yeah. like. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, what are we yeah. doing here? <laughs> All right. Yeah, the gym is definitely full. Just looking around, not a lot of empty space on this side of the gym. Of course, this being the prime side for the halftime shows, the dance routines generally face us. You're, you're right, so we're, we're traditionally on the more busy side, and, yeah. and the side across that the fans would see ten, tends to be a little less populated, but right. it looks packed over there today. Yeah, I'm glad I'm dressed in layers. I think I will be delayering here I, yeah, as, as the time goes you're on. You're wearing a hoodie? Well, it's breathable. We talked about this yesterday. True. Cotton, okay. Fabric choice is important. You gotta, you gotta, gotta be prepared. It's doing a little parking lot there earlier, so. Nice, taking a shift out in the lot. Like a good Brit volunteer would do. Okay. Ochaya. Okay, we got that. Th thank you, th those who are tuning in the live stream and, and providing a little bit of feedback. We see Ochaya is how we pronounce the name. And I appreciate you know what? that. Based on what I've seen so far, we'll be saying his name a lot. So I would it's best think to so. get it right in the first quarter. I think so. Gonzalez for three. He was good earlier, missed that one, but he's a sharp shooter. To Fontaine. Making the layup look easy. Most definitely. And then getting back on defense and creating a turnover. This Walter, guy's everywhere. Walter Murray came to play. Fontaine to Holly. Across the, to Geary, 
slowing things down. Ten seconds on the shark clock. Morin has it, directing some traffic, trying to set something up. He decides just, well, he decides, well, if, if the play isn't there, I guess I'll just shoot a three. This team is outstanding from the three-point line. 18 and nine, Walter Murray lead. Whoa, that's my boy right there, Davin Perry, the big man. Yeah, I don't really see anyone on Walter Murray uh, matching up physically to his No, size. push him out of the way. You need a tractor to do that. The youngster himself. Well, it looks like Walter Murray's been given the green light to go for the three. Yeah. He's definitely playing the long ball here. That's right. At least Morin has been. And if he hasn't been given the go ahead, he's just doing it anyway. Ah, I see uh, former Brit chair Brad Clausen making his way into the building. The, Brit brings people out of the woodwork. And that's why I love coming back year after year. There are people that I see every year, once a year, and I only see them in this Kelly Bauer ah, gymnasium. Right. Yeah, former students, alum workers, yep. colleagues, alum. Parents. I'm running into parents of, of kids I coached here at Bedford years ago. They're coming back. This, this is a community event, and it takes much, much more than just the Bedford Road staff and students. Like alumni are coming back. Right. Parents are getting involved, community members. We're seeing all sorts of Saskatoon public school employees coming here and donating their time. The firefighters, Saskatoon firefighters, are here the whole weekend yeah. providing emergency services. This is a community event, folks. Yeah. We haven't had any major injuries this tournament. Thankfully. Wood. Thankfully. Yeah. So far, it's been a really safe tournament, and I hope it continues to be that way. Everyone still has their teeth. A long two for Morin. Wow, 20, 20 points already for Walter Murray. Wow. Conte has it here for Riffle. Working his way around. Oh! Who was that? Eberly couldn't hold on to the pass. Kristen Eberly. I wonder if he's any relation to the Jordan. I'm going to assume he is. In fact, I'm going to tell everyone he is okay. right now. Okay. They're brothers. No kidding. I just made that up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, do not fact check anything we say, folks. Yeah. Because yeah. if we don't know the answer, we will just make one up. Yep. If you know the real answers, get on the live chat and yeah, actually us give, us some, yeah, give us some information. So we, yeah. so we look less like the idiots we are. Yeah, we, the lawsuits, you know, they got to come <laughs> to an end eventually. We're out of money. <laughs> Holly for three. Well, yeah, I just, I'm, I'm running out of like adjectives and words to use to describe this young man's play. <laughs> oh, oh. Rebounds up for grabs. That's Everly. Nine point lead for Walter Murray. Less than a minute to go in the first quarter. It's just fascinating how Morin plays with just the standard glass. Yeah, just, just goes out there with his glass. Re regular. <laughs> I find that fascinating. There he is. Jeez, yeah. it's like, Holy cow, he went down to, to, to point optical yep. and just said, I'll take those, like, and he just, wear, he just wears them. Some homework, comes straight on the court, back to the back to the library after class, it's fantastic, after the game. Under 30 seconds to play, Everly. They must be a snug fit. Well, they have to be. He did lose them a few times yesterday. Yeah, or does mom say you're wearing your bad ones? Like, I don't want you getting them stepped on during that's the game. That's right, that's right. No, you're not leaving home with the good ones on. You want to play basketball. You know how much I paid for those things? Jeez. I talked yesterday, like, Price uh... Price of lenses? You, you, know, you think you maybe get one of those straps or something, you know, to hold those suckers on? Because yesterday they came up four or five. Because this guy throws his body around. Well, he's playing in a highly competitive basketball tournament. You think, uh... Well, either way, it's working. It is working, whatever he he's doing. Some, maybe he can shoot it and shoot this well with the glasses off, but... Oh, look at this. Seven seconds left. Holly was getting pressured. Draws the foul there. Under seven seconds left to go in the first quarter. Murray will try to set up some sort of play here to get off one last shot, hopefully, hopefully expand that lead a little bit. Big pass! To Fontaine, he got up there, but couldn't quite grab it. Man, he got up there. He did. Okunde. 
Yeah, he's going to have to definitely put Ripple on his back here if they want to crawl into this one. He seems to be their main, uh, he's a dynamic threat, definitely. He is a dynamic threat. 0.5 seconds, he got two and the foul. That was a fast turnaround because there were six seconds left. Walter Murray got a shot off. All the way turned around, Kunde gets two and he's going to shoot for one. A lot can happen. A lot is happening. I think I can see it. It's happening around me. I'm not doing much. I can tell you that. I have consumed a few brick dogs. And I'm awaiting the Dilly Bar shipment. I don't know when. They're here. Are they have arrived? They're here. I saw a few fans walking around with Dilly Bars. I was like, okay. I know it's a one day thing. And it's generally Saturday afternoon-ish. Okay. I've missed out on two, two uh, Long John deliveries now. I'm in the bad books. Hey, I'm, I'm going to take this time, if it's okay, to shout out some of the Walter Murray staff that are in attendance here, showing okay. support for the team. It's a Saturday afternoon, but I'm looking around. I see Joyce Glazel, Linda Marcotte. I, I'm seeing, who am I seeing? Jill Harbage. I'm looking across the, the court. I'm seeing Larissa Berry, Katie Farmer. Uh, who am I seeing? Brendan Dowie. Taylor Johnson. Oh my goodness. Uh, of course, the administration teams here. Principal Tom Sargent, Vice Principal Kevin McNarlin. I know I'm missing people. Uh, Kayla Medland, I saw. The staff is getting out on a Saturday. They're bringing their families. I'm seeing staff. They're bringing their toddlers along. They're bringing their kids. What a Good family event. See. This is cool. Good to see. Mark Fitzpatrick was in the building. I saw him earlier. Yeah, I, oh, I can see him right behind the score table there right now. Former Bedford Road um, teacher who's now at Walter Murray, back to cheer on the Marauders. Yep, always played a big role. Math whiz, that guy. Uh, all right, folks, 25-18, second quarter. Definitely not out, of a, not out of hand. From the comebacks that we've seen yes. in this tournament. Anything. Nothing is out of if, if one of these teams had a 30-point lead right now, I would say don't go anywhere because anything can happen. We saw the game right before this. Cross was up, I think, 23 points at that one time. That was absolutely insane. And even last night, right, with, with Walter Murray, um, they were up 13 points with like a minute and a half left. And you and I said, is, is can they come back? And they just about um, had it stolen from them from St. FX. It came down to one last shot for St. FX. Yeah. And Murray won by two. Yeah, that was, uh, that was one for the ages as well, right down to the wire. I mean, every year... We think all oh, this Brit can outdo the previous, and it somehow, some way, it, it gets better every you know, year. And it's the players, you know, it's the coaching, it's the, the fans. Yeah, well, and just the quality of the basketball, it just seems to get better every year. We're not going the other direction. We're not getting any worse. Well, we are. Oh, you and I personally are getting much worse. Yeah. Every year, but the quality of the competition is getting better. There he is. Zach Holly for three. Right before that, Okunde had a nice play for two. Holly answers back for three. I don't think this uh, young Holly, he gets nervous. I don't think the nerves are, are a factor no, here. No. Being in grade nine and all. He doesn't look nervous. No. I'm following your lead with the standing. I gotta stand up for this. I, I can't sit <laughs> down. Back, my, my back's getting sore. I'm too excited. I got too many brick dogs in the system. Tagiri, pull up jumper from the free throw line, making it look easy. I think it's been proven you, pr you you burn a few more calories by standing. I think science would support that statement. Yep. Okunde. Oh, that was Conte for three. Right back to Conte. The Man. big man. There's my boy, Davin Barry. All he has it. Oh, little miscommunication pass to Morin, just a little off. Walter Murray enjoying an eight point lead here with six minutes to go in the first half. Looks like, looks like Walter Murray guidance counselor Kim Grant walking into the building. Other guidance counselor Cassidy Morley is in the building. Saw them both. We got the whole student services department in here. Wow. Do a little, uh, little scheduling here. A couple people I'm, I'm proud to work with. They're, 
They're probably Maybe. not the happiest that they have to work with me, but but I am really yeah. fortunate to work with well, them. Worst case scenario, maybe some of the boys on the floor, you could do some credit checks. <laughs> <laughs> While we've got you in the building, you just want to talk about STEM too? <laughs> Looking ahead to your classes. You don't have that second English. <laughs> Let's call a timeout here, though. Muhammad Yusuf. Get that schedule ironed out. The steal in the two. Conte. Decide to pull up and shoot a three. Morin doesn't like the call, and, and he's letting the ref know that he doesn't like the, ref, the <laughs> well, call. If there's a will, there's a way. No, not that's a good idea, though. Just looking here, you know, not a lot of seniors on the Riffle squad. Uh, You're right, looking there. One grade 12? Gonzalez is the only senior. Holy cow, so this is a team that's just gonna get stronger next year. They're keeping their whole squad with the exception of one player. And like I've been talking about, Davin Berry's only a grade 10. He's got a couple more Brits to go. But yeah, I mean, so you're looking at a team that's only gonna get stronger here in the next year. I can only assume they're gonna be back here next year. Well, don't assume anything. You're right. That would be silly of me. To Geary to Holly, Holly to Morin. Morin fakes the shot, finds a space in the corner for three! What? Oh. We really need to start. Is there an app that I can get? So I can just keep track of how many three pointers these kids are they're nailing? Because yeah, is someone keeping stats. Could yeah. someone still say it's just like a whole bunch? Just is what a, I want to say. Get a clipboard. Pour yourself a, a ginger ale, maybe a coffee. And just tally it for us. Thank you. Someone keeps stats and just keep us informed. Yeah. There's been many, many three-point shots many. And, and a bunch of fouls. Yeah, that's yeah, the that's stats the numbers, I can give that's you. That's the numbers we're going to throw out there. Nice general blanket statement. <laughs> okay, 37-24. Gonzalez, the only great 12 on the team, going to inbound the ball, the ball here for Riffle. Ochai outside to Okunde. Bobbled it, but picked it back up. Five seconds on the shot clock. Okunde chooses to drive. What's the call here? Is that a block? I like how Okunde is wearing the single compression sleeve, or whatever you want to call it, on the leg. Guy. His right leg gets colder than his left. Is that what it is? Yep. It's an equilibrium temperature thing. It is. Right, yeah. Fact check that. <laughs> there yeah. Gonzalez is going to try this again. Ochaya. So Okunde. Okunde for three. Nope, with Gonzalez, the shortest player in the court, coming up with that rebound. But Hawley stole it from him, passed it to Morin. Morin's going to drive, slow down, pull up jumper from the two. Oh, from the free throw line, hits it. Interesting look, Gonzalez, with the uh, mismatched shoes. That, like he, that is interesting. Left, left the party last night, wrong shoe. <laughs> yeah, do you buy him like that, or yeah. did he lose one? I'm and... assuming you do, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, bit of a Cinderella situation there. Asymmetrical. The wrong slipper. Tagiri stops, gets fouled by Okunde. And I'll tell you what, the, the getting Okunde to foul is almost as good as getting the two points because he's such a strong player. If you can push him into foul trouble, early, yeah. that, that, that's good for your team. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Time out for the Royals. Definitely by design. Hey, should, should we uh, talk about some I of the great sponsors that make I this tournament happen? Yeah, what do we got? Dakota Dunes, of course, a major sponsor. Uh, that's the Community Development Corporation. Then we got Tamaco. Energizing a clean air world. Well, isn't that thoughtful? Trail Appliance, of course, appliances, and more. And more, Saskatel. Mm -hmm. Big shout out to Laser. I'm sure they had a busy night last night. And I woke up this morning hearing the old freezing rain around the province. They're liking the sounds of that. <laughs> Laser's just licking their chops. I'm gonna encourage all of you, try not to support Laser Auto Body. <laughs> Let's not. But, it, but if you find yourself in a situation where you need an auto body shop, give them a call. That's right. Uh, Brad Redekop made an appearance on day one there. That's the uh, MP for Saskatoon West. Ham Construction Limited. Yeah. Enjoying some of it right now, Culligan water. For some of the best water you can get. Breck Construction providing the scaffolding that, that we're on right on now. On which we sit. I, I'm jumping up and down, it's safe, I trust them. Yeah, Breck I'm gonna kind of get you to dial that back a bit, you're making me nervous. <laughs> and of course we've got Smiley's Buffet and Event Center. Put us. on a great spread for us at the Brit Breakfast yesterday, all the players enjoyed it. 
Yeah, Husky Athletics. And finally, Me Sports out of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. I'm thankful to all of those local sponsors making this tournament the spectacle that it is. Update to Geary, hit both those so shots to give Walter Murray a 17 point lead. It's 41-24, halfway through the second quarter. Ooh, things are getting Ooh. interesting. I'm sitting down again for yeah. those at home that are worried you are. about me. I'm not. Okay, you uh, got. Go won't. ahead, I'm gonna save my energy. True, because there's lots of basketball left. This could very well go to overtime. We're only at 3.30 in the afternoon. You and I are probably going to be calling games till about 11, 11.30 at night tonight. For three! That's Holly. Oh, my goodness. Composed. He's looking like a young Craig Schumacher out there. I hit a three-point once. Once? Once, yeah, yeah. Many years ago. Yeah, it took me about 50 tries. Yeah. The gym was empty. I just grabbed the basketball. I was like, I'm going to see if I can make a three-pointer, and I did. Well, I want to go on record saying I made a three-pointer well, once. But if, it, if a three is scored and nobody <laughs> witnesses, does it really? No, it happened. Like a tree falling it in happened. The I, it did. I know no one saw it, but. It's like a tree falling in the forest. No, it happened. I swear. Ochaya. Sounds like he's ordering a burger. Double, double, double is what I heard. He's calling out double, double, double. Gonzalez for three. He short. hit from the exact same spot earlier. Morin got the rebound. Mahati drives down the side, takes it baseline, finger roll layup. Now who was that Walter Murray player last night that did that break, fast break down the court? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crossover, what? dribble, ankle breaking. That was just a. Wasn't that Mohammed Yunus? I think it was. Is he number 11? Yep, yeah, yeah, Yunus. Yeah, that was unreal. Coast to coast. Oh, man. Around the back, spin move through the legs, crisscross three yeah, defenders. Raise like, it up what? To the end. It was beautiful. Beautiful. What a sight to behold. Looks like Gonzalez is going to inbound the ball here for Ripple. Finds Thompson, Caden Thompson at the top. That's Ochaya for three. Oh, that was good. Ochaya got his own rebound, puts it in for two. Ochaya rocking some of the best uh, salad here, some of the best hair of the tourney. I definitely say he's up there. That is a mop. Yeah, looking, looking good. Sideshow Bob inspired sort of thing. Very I similar like to it. what we have going on in Walter Murray, uh, with number six. Um, Right, who is, oh yeah, Date Joe Fountaine. Yeah, Fountaine. He's got a very similar look. I like it. Little time out here with two and a half to go in the first half. Walter Moore, Murray enjoying an 18 point lead. Seeing the floor mopping, not quite as passionate as day one. No, no, they know there's lots of day left, so they don't want to expend all their energy <laughs> here. This is only the semifinal. And uh, the winner of this game is going to take on uh, blah, 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 Raymond. That's right. The Raymond comeback Alberta. Kids. The comeback kids. They're going to oh. hold. And, and Ray, Raymond being fortunate enough in the draw, they get an extra hour and a half break to prepare for that final. It's a quick turnaround. Whoever wins this game is going to be in the final um, starting at 9 o'clock. So this game is going to be done about 4.30 central time. And they're going to be back on the court four, four and a half hours later. That's insane. Like, what do you do? And it's not like this is like a, it's not like this is an easy game. This is like mile a minute, up and down yeah. the court, sweating like crazy. Yeah. And you gotta be back here in four hours to do it again. So, like, obviously you don't go hit a, a hot tub or anything like that. You don't want your muscles cramping up. So no. it's probably just hydrate, rest. Relax, eat. Yeah, you're gonna have to get something in your system. Gotta do something. Holly just hit another three while we're yakking away. That's right, there is a basketball game going on. That's right. Gonzalez for three. He likes that spot in the far corner. Oh, he's got the ball, Chris crossing. Tagiri drives baseline, outside to Hawley, puts it up. Oh my. Wow. Oh my. Wow, Gives that's another three. To the crowd. Riffle coach just kind of threw his arms up like, well, He's like, but you better get used to me. I'm here. <laughs> that riffle coach is going like, what do I, how do I defend that? You don't. Dylan Morin runs into what I'm assuming felt like a brick wall. 
Morin uh, gets his glasses picked up there. What's the call? Oh, Morin got called on the charge there. Okay. Thompson has it for Riffle. Down the side, spin move. Finds Baker down low, or Barry down low, pardon me. 52-33. Whoa! This young man what? doesn't miss. Is that his third or fourth in a row? I don't know, but I wonder how many million he's taken in his life you're, to get this good. You're right. You're right. That that is looked like a, like a shot that has been practiced a few well, times. Well, you know, when you're growing up around a basketball family, his father being a coach, I mean, obviously he's got natural talent, but just access to a gym as a young kid, you know, dad's you're, in there coaching, probably has a hoop at home. You're right. His, his, his fell dad, in love with the sport, obviously, and just shoots. His, his dad, Scott Hawley, a Brit champion in, in 1994, the Walter Murray Marauders. Okay. Little deja vu here. Now his dad's sitting on the bench watching his son right. compete for the Marauders here at Brit. The circle of life. 32 years later, that, that Brit championship team from 1990 also on the team. Bedford Road principal Scott Ferguson. Fergie. On the team. A lot of history in this gym. Holly up top, he's gonna put up another one. Missed that one. Nah, eh. you win some, you lose some. He's still shooting probably 80% or something yeah. like that. It's incredible. Ochaya. Mahadi, tight on him. Relentless in defense. Ochaya shakes it off. He's a solid player there. Wow. Great agility. Well done. All handling skills. Mahadi has it up top. Little spin move. Three seconds left. Okay, is the second strip away here? Got it poked out. Got some form of a halftime show coming up. Oh, do you take a look. Find out what we got coming up at the halftime in one second. Ochaya. Ooh, that was closer than it ought to be. Could that be the... No, where are we on this list? Where, here we are. Ah. Hanley. Hanley School of Dance. Coming in from Hanley. Visit www.hanleydance.com for more information. Hanley Dance going to put on the halftime show for okay, us, folks. folks. We're, we're going we're gonna to cut the mics and just allow you to enjoy the show. Be back here for second half action. Walter Murray up 55-37. Okay.
Each of us has a unique voice. Now it's your turn to sit in the director's chair by taking part in the creation of your community's next great story. Find out how to take advantage of broadcast industry training and bring your ideas to life. Or you can contribute by volunteering, where you'll discover new friendships, develop new skills, and help build local community programming. Punch TV is the nerdiest show in Saskatoon. If you like comics, movies, games, stellar events, and anything in geekdom, you'll love Punch TV. Host Jody Kaysen takes you in-depth with artists, writers, and guests from across the province, the world, heck, even the galaxy. Plus, regular updates from The Collector, The Movie Geek, and Tweet Beat. I am Audrey. And I'm Leah. Leah inspired me to play hockey. The War Amps has helped me by giving me my devices I need to play hockey. Audrey has an amputation similar to mine. What is yours do? The stick click center. My device from the War Amps allows me to shoot a lot better. It rotates like a wrist, which helps a lot with shooting and stick handling. When I score a goal, I feel really happy. fine skins is still part of the north. It's cooked with Shaq. Cooking all the great things for you. And anybody can try it out. You just do what you do. It's cooked with Shaq. And we're back. So where are you? Are you a content creator looking to expand your audience and make your voice heard in your community? Shaw Spotlight wants to provide you with a platform to share your hobbies, interests, and stories. And all for free. Visit us to find out more. Welcome back, folks. Second half action in our second of two semifinals. The first semifinals saw Raymond out of Alberta mount a crazy comeback against oh. Holy Cross Crusaders of Saskatoon. Oh, pandemonium in here. I could hear the. I was in the media room sort of behind the scenes, and there was about a 10 second delay, and I could hear the screaming in the gym, and then I would see it on the screen. So I knew stuff was happening. I didn't know what. Yep. So yeah, wow, that was the comeback. Came and, down uh, to a last second three point shot by Raymond. So they solidified their spot in the final. They're sitting back here and they're waiting to see the results of this one. They're gonna play the winner of this in the final tonight at nine. Right now we got the Walter Murray Marauders out of Saskatoon. They have 55 versus the Riffle Royals out of Regina at 37. 18 point difference coming in the second half. But just like the last game, I, I think Holy Cross had a 20-some point lead at half and saw that chipped away and then eventually lost it. So this game is far but over. All right, yeah. I mean, it's just like, uh, you know, no lead is safe. No know? lead is safe. Yeah. No lead is safe. Um, both uh, young shooters there, Morin and Holly for Walter Murray shooting the lights out in the first half. 
Okunde and Barry, Ochaya, Gonzalez, they, they, they've they been good in the first half for Riffle. Better than good. They're great. They're great yeah, players. Great speed on, on Walter Murray. They're a fast team. They are. You know, if, they, uh, if they punch their ticket to the final, it's going to be a speedy matchup against Raymond, who loves to play an up Oh, they are fast. High speed game as well. They go full speed the whole game, that Raymond team. Yeah. Great cardio. Dylan Morin draws the foul. Yeah, Walter Murray, an incredibly fast and skilled team, but but uh, I don't want to say underside, but but certainly in, in their matchup so far at this tournament, they have been the smaller team. Right, yeah. Size-wise, and I think tonight's no different here or this afternoon, I guess. Whoa, Fontaine to Holly. Nifty little pass, and Holly the finish. Holly's smiling, he goes, that's a nice pass. Gives, gives Fontaine some, some high five love. And Holly draws a foul there as well. Gonna make it a three point play if he can. And he can. Well, here we are. Walter Murray cracking 60 points. And Chaya and has it at the top. To Thompson. Thompson's going to drive outside to Okunde, shooting that three from the corner. He hits it. Nice looking shot. He's going to have to take his, uh, put this team on his back here. I think he's prepared to. Yeah. I mean, he looks strong enough. Oh, he could. He could probably love, he could probably hold it. I think he could. I know he could. And Holly getting swarmed there outside to Mahati. Mahati down low to Holly. He gets it. Thompson was on his back like a backpack. Right. Walter Murray making some adjustments at half, bringing Holly down low here in these oh, last few. Kunde didn't get the foul call, but at least gets the ball. A little less than two minutes into the second half of the second corner final. Pardon me, semifinal. Thompson from the corner. Oh, I thought that was going to bounce. Gonzalez. Speedy Gonzalez here picks up the rebound for three. Whoa, and that was a long three oh for Gonzalez. My. I want to say that's his third of the game. Jeez, I couldn't throw a baseball that far. <laughs> Holly missed it. Oh. Rare miss for Holly. Rare miss. Mahadi trying to save that one. He couldn't, but he tried. Always love the effort. Thompson has it. He's going to take it. Foul called, he's, he's gonna shoot two. Foul called on Fontaine. Okay. Okay, we got a bit of a substitution here. Walter Murray changing the guard. Like a number 10 did a little visualization prior to shooting. Have to, it's half I've mental. It. I've seen it with bobsled. It works. <laughs> Close your eyes. Visualize. I try to do it with my bank account, but it doesn't seem to work. I visualize it getting bigger. And it doesn't. No. Yeah, no. So I'm doing something wrong. I got to keep practicing. Keep you know. on it. Yeah. Manifest it. That's right. <laughs> Mahati. Ooh. That looked like it went in. Yeah, it looked good. Just a little bit short, but with the right line on it. Okunde. Ooh, nifty move. This guy's an athlete. Okay. 62 46 Murray. Two and a half minutes into the second half. Dylan Morn slowing it down. I have to be honest, you know, with Holy Cross's loss, I was a little bit sad. I was kind of yeah. hoping for an all Saskatoon final. I know. If, you know, if you. If, right, if, right. Us in the booth, if we could draw up our perfect way to have two Saskatoon teams in the, the final would be in the incredible. Gym, having local teams, obviously, you're going to bring in more local support. So, St Still a chance of having one Saskatoon team in the final. Correct. Walter Murray's in it. We're here. Yeah. They got a shot. They're Perfect. leading this game. Not over yet, though, but they are in the lead right now. Oh, wow. Whoa, to Geary. What a move. Oh. And he's got some speed. He does, all but the finish. Yeah. yeah. I mean, no, no, he has the finish. Just, just in that particular yeah. instance there. We're watching he, it, it at home. We're not saying he has no finish. No, 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 no. Right. Just on that one. Save the emails. Yeah. Like discard. 
What did he say? <laughs> That's my boy. All right. Ochaya. The Barry. Perry, the big man. Try to stop him. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't try. Yeah, get out of the way. Holly. Moving down the court quickly. Outside to Tagiri. He's going to shoot the three. No go. Holly picking up the rebound over Thompson. Mahati. Down low to Will Sochin. Mm, frustrated by that call. We got a timeout called. Walter Murray Marauders. Four minutes, 21 seconds left. We're about at the halfway mark in the third quarter. Murray up 62-48. Very well coached, organized Walter Murray squad. My only complaint is this uh, player list. What do we do? Yeah, the, the, the roster. Oh, like. The number, just, yeah, we need yeah. a template. I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Can we get a template? For, for these rosters, just, just if, I don't care what the team's rosters look like or how we organize it, but if every team could organize it the same. Yeah. There was one, I forget which team it was, but like, it wasn't ordered by the the player number. It wasn't alphabetical. It wasn't by grade. No it was rhyme like, or reason. They just threw like every player in a hat and put just it into a shotgun and just <laughs> shot it at the. At Here's the, paper. the roster. Yeah. So as we're going through trying to figure out who made yeah. that play, like where's number 13? Well, he's right in between number two and number 27. I know people following at home will probably assume that we are well rehearsed, <laughs> coached, researched. <laughs> we are literally handed these papers like prior to the game, so it helps. There you go. <laughs> Easy to read. And, that, and that's why we always appreciate the, the viewers chiming in on the live stream and, and giving us some, some feedback, filling in some of the gaps that we have, oh, telling us about their are communities there gaps? and their schools. It's one big gap. It's, a ca it's cavernous. It's only a gap. Yeah. Mind the gap. <laughs> okay, 62-50. Murray's still holding on here. And Okunde with the rebound. You see, 12 point lead only. They're chipping away at this lead, this Riffle team. And there's plenty of time to play. We're just over halfway through the third quarter. We're not even in the fourth yet. Holly kicking it out. Morin, the miss. Rebound up for grabs. Mahati. Morin wanted to shoot that one again. Shot clock was reset, oh, so they got my. lots of time. What a spin move. Oh, called on the travel. His bags were packed, he was going somewhere. I don't think it mattered anyway, because Okunde had ripped it out of his hands by that point and was prepared to right. drive down. Right. I'm actually a little upset the ref stopped that, because because my guess Okunde was thinking slam dunk. Oh, we haven't seen one in a while. No, we haven't. Yeah, there was plenty day one and day two. Yeah, so I've gone some Brits without a single dunk. So to be, I think we probably had about five or six already, so. Oh yeah, we've, we've been treated be right today. I haven't seen a slam dunk yet, and those are always a hit with the crowd. Oh. Actually, you know what? I think there was one in the cross game. Okay. I think there was one. You might want to start taking some Ginkgo Ginkgo Bulboa, Ginkgo mm -hmm. Biloba, Ginkgo memory, Biloba? Yeah, me memory uh, stuff there, because that was only an hour ago. Yeah, and it's already gone. Holly for three. Nope, Thompson gets a rebound for Riffle. Still a 12-point game. Riffle hopes to change that. Oh, Ochaya. Draws the block. <laughs> Mohamed Yunus can't believe it. We're right. making a change here. Will Sochin's out. Conte's back in. Conte is back in. Mahadi's in. Yunus is out. A couple changes for the Marauders. Given, given the uh, Ripple Royals a couple different looks here. Chaya. 10 seconds on the shot clock. What's the call here? Yeah, what is the call here? Looks like something on Fontaine because he doesn't like it. Trying to plead his case with the ref. Don't think it's going to work. Yeah, he had his puppy dog eyes going there. You know, there was some real plea. There was a plea. Crowd to our left, very dissatisfied with the... Uh, yeah, the fans to our left letting the refs know what they think of that, and they don't agree. They're on Fontaine's side. That's okay. Okunde, he doesn't care what the crowd has has in mind. Hey, Okunde going to the charity stripe here. He's been pretty solid all tournament. 
He's going to get chip away at this Walter Murray lead. Fontaine still trying to plead his case with the ref. Like, oh, come on, man. He's going to take a seat on the bench. Yes. Coaches are going to give him a minute to cool off. He is fired up. I do love that emotion, but he got to make sure that he can control it. Right. And I'm reminding myself, these guys are still young. Coach Kirk Jones showed a little emotion, I see. <laughs> He's a passionate fella. You think? I don't, I don't know, you know, C Coach Jones and Coach Holly and Walter, I don't know that I've met two guys who love basketball more than them. I, I just stay out of their way. Yep. That's a wise move. Oh, Whoa. Oh, Chaya swats it from Tagiri. Thompson. Oh, oh missed the He's got to make Darn that it. count. Yeah, he does. When the game's this close, that's a difference. Oh, Mahadi. Okay, we got a block called. Same thing. Riffle coach is going, I don't know about that. Kieran Hebert respectfully disagreeing with the referee. And it was respectful. I'll, I'll admit that. Taking a seat, are we? I gotta sit down for just a second here. My hip. Oh, we are aching in the, in the <laughs> food. When I get the art, like, man, we got old in a hurry. How did that happen? Just be able to do the entire tournament without feeling anything. Now it's like, yeah, I'm gonna take this next game off. <laughs> I gotta go lay on the couch in the staff room. <laughs> Nurse. <laughs> Mahati. We need to bring back the. Uh, the massage chairs, we were talking about that the other yes, day. Yes, a couple uh, years back. Yes, we had a sponsor supply massage chairs. Right behind the score score table across from yeah. us, there was a couple like leather reclining massage chairs that, that you could sit in for a game. I can't yeah, like, you have we, your name drawn yeah, or something. Yeah, there was some form of raffle, yeah. It was a clever way to make money, I think is what it, it was. It was advertised yeah. for one of our sponsors, which we do appreciate and, and, and our, our big, Parts of making this tournament happen, our sponsors are. Okay. Ochaya. Calling the shots. Two minutes left in the third quarter. This has been a long quarter. Okunde. Dylan Morin. Holly. Baseline, pull up jumper. Didn't get it to go. Mm. Ripple picks up the rebound. Tension mounts. Bit of a tighter second half. I'm definitely yep. seeing defenses locking down. Um, yep. And, oh. and Ripple is closing the lead a little bit here. Yeah, and I think that's by design, to slowing the pace down a little bit. Sunday. <laughs> Barry. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's really the go-to here is just work the paint with that big man. Get it down low. Two points at a time. Holly answers back with a two of their own. 11-point lead for Murray with under a minute to go in the third. No Kunde. Pull-up jumper. Ooh, looking good. Morin. Morin. Wow, he's shifty. Yeah. He's going to go to the line. Third foul called, and I think I think it was Davin Barry, was it? I I don't know. Third foul called. Riffle dipping into their bench a little bit here as we move into the tailings of the third quarter. Morin hit them both. He hit them both, right? I wasn't paying attention to the first one. I got it. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, well, I was actually trying to look up the, oh. the the pronunciation of number seven for Ripple. I just noticed him on the court. Cooper. Cooper Simmons. Cooper Simmons. Thompson up the top to Kunde. Oh, what's the call? That that's gonna count. Mahadi called on the block, and Okunde's gonna shoot. 
Coach Shoot, Kirk Jones nope. not impressed. Nope. What's happening here? Block. Yep. That was an interesting uh, kind of expression by the referee. It was kind of like a boom. See that? Double uh -oh. fist hip thrust. Ref's having a little chit chat with, with Dylan Moore and giving him a warning. <laughs> Moore, Moore likes to express his opinion to the referees. I believe he's, yeah, he's probably well versed in, uh, yeah. Sometimes you just got to know when to hold them. Right, you know, right. mm, bite those lips. Holly to Morin. Holly, no chance to put it up. Seven points. Playing right into Riffle's hands here. Riffle's chipping away. Little by little. Seven points only. Walter Murray up 67 60, heading into the first fourth Yikes. quarter. They've had a lead of about 20, I think, at one point. Yeah, and you know, never fails. Never fails. This is a game of swings, and right now things are swinging in, in favor of the Riffle Royals. Halftime break here. Both coaches hopefully going to make some adjustments. Bit of a game of chess right now. Right. Walter Murray. There's been a few Walter Murray players getting upset at the refereeing. Yeah. Font Fontaine had to take these, a seat. Right. High stakes games, you know, that's sort of par for the course, you know. But I, I, I think, I mean, my opinion is you, you control what you can control. And you can't control how the refs are going to call things. And I, I don't think it helps to get emotional and start complaining about calls. They're trying to, once the call's been made, it's made. Right. Easier said than done. You, yeah, I know, but, but I, I do think it's beneficial to yourself and your team if you can just kind of control those emotions. Yeah, and, and that is, that is you know, that is something that is learned as, as these players age, obviously. A lot of these young guys, um, you know, have been playing competitive basketball, I'm sure, for, for, for a few years now. Back, fourth quarter action, seven okay. point lead for Walter Murray. Dylan Morin, pull up jumper. No good. Well, 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 folks, here we are, fourth quarter action. Semi-final number two. Walter Murray Marauders up on the Riffle Royals. Shot clock winding down. Holly put up the shot, that's gonna reset the clock. Doesn't matter, because Okunde picks up the rebound. Walter Murray's had some tough luck shooting in the last three, four minutes. Yeah, and you know, I think credit some of that to Royals defense, but I mean, like you said, at half, if they're two young guns there in Morin and, and Holly cool off, that leaves Walter Murray vulnerable. It but absolutely does. They do does. seem to be scoring the vast majority of their points. You're right, and they were hot in the second quarter when we, when wow. we saw them open up that lead. They but couldn't miss. Cooling down a little bit here. Let's see if they can find that spark because Ripple's within five. Yeah. They were down 20 about 10 minutes ago. Yeah. Now they're down five. Holly. That's, Speak of the, that's the spark maybe we were talking Speak about. Speak of the you know who who comes from a hot place. <laughs> Thompson. Lokunde. He's going to shoot a three. Wow! Okunde can do it all. Not to be outdone. Yeah. Can he? Ever. You're, you're yeah. right. Answer, answers back to Holly's yep. three. Five point game yep. still. Team ex both teams exchanging three point plays. Oh. Dylan Morin gets the ball picked and loses his glasses. Picks him up, doesn't miss a stride. Okunde puts him within three. Holly, no go. Three, this is a one possession game. Wow. Oh, Morin gets the Ripple rebound. Right back into this. 
Not to be outdone by semifinal number one. More in the hall, you're right, which was an incredible semifinal. This semifinal one's shaping up. Number two looking just as exciting. I would say that, that one, that final came, or that semifinal came down to a last second shot. I, I think this game's gonna be the exact same. Well, either way, Raymond, the Raymond Comets out of Raymond, Alberta are sitting back going, well, either or at this stage. Mm, interesting, okay. Mark McDonald, Walter Murray coach, calling for some help with the floor crew here. Obviously, player safety is, is our main concern. We want to make sure everyone is safe during these games. Making sure. And of course, these guys are covered in sweat, so anytime you know they hit the ground, well, the ground's wet now. Just making sure we got it cleaned up. Take away any slip hazards. Five oh, point wow. game. I don't know what happened over there. Did somebody throw a water bottle on the court? I wonder. Tracy Lyons is out there with Coach Mark McDonald and one of our Brit volunteer students as well. Hey, well, let's get the uh, let's get the floor polisher. I mean, we don't have time for this. Look at that. Coaches, students, staff coming together on one problem Tracy right Lyons now, and they're down solving there, like, it. Like Cinderella. <laughs> Mopping and scrubbing. <laughs> well done. Collaborative effort. Good to see. Nothing like some water on the floor to really bring, <laughs> bring people bring together. The volunteers <laughs> together. Look at the shine. Oh, I'd give a shout out to the wax company that sealed the floors, but I don't know who was it. Who yeah. was? Okay, Holly. Oh, oh with have... an ankle breaker of a move. 26. And Fontaine gets charged with another block. Okay, that's uh, Coach Jones is going to make a sub. He's going to pull him off. Into the game for Fontaine is Mohamed Yunus. All right, all right. Five minutes to go, five point game. Riffle has been coming back. Yeah, chipping away, slow and steady. They've been looking good. They've been looking really good here in the second half. Yeah, slowed the tempo down a bit. To Barry. And I think that's really how they want to beat. He's not in the run and gun, run and gun, shoot him up. Uh, you know, kind of high tempo pace of the first half. They've slowed mm -hmm. things down. Mm -hmm. They get it down to the big man, 21 there. Man, he's big. He just pushes people around there. Mohamed Yunus, he's got some speed. Creates a turnover. Sure does. Morn baseline to Mahadi. Clean little lay-in from the center. Four and a half to go. Crowd on the edge of their seat. I'm just looking at you and I standing up. People are quite uh, invested. Yeah. More into Muhammad Yunus. He missed, but he grabbed his own rebound. Walter Murray can slow it down now. Holly. Holly. Oh, nifty little move. Yunus is still fighting for that rebound. Got some heart. All right. Thompson. Aiden Thompson, you know, he just quietly goes about his business all game long. Hey, that Collie. Okay. Timeout wow. called. Three minutes, 46 seconds. I'd make a prediction, but it'll probably be wrong. Yeah, I'm not even going to predict anything. It's only a seven point game. The only thing I'm predicting <laughs> is a Brit dog. I'm predicting a Brit dog. I see Brit dogs in your future. Are you talking to you? 
We've got uh, plenty of fans here, Rick Ricochet, uh, as a contingent of fans. I believe they came just to see him live. Got, got a couple colleagues to my right who, who are giving me some compliments. And okay. I'm humbled. I work with amazing people, and I got nothing but compliments to throw to them. Yep. Kim Grant's in the house giving me the thumbs up. She thinks we're doing great. I appreciate that. It, it, it makes an old guy feel good. Thank you. Sure you're not gunning there for, for positions or anything like that you're not uh, giving these compliments as a way to sort of sweeten them up you're needing a favor perhaps or is this just no I, purely from the heart well i do owe them a lot i mean I was there's, gonna there's, say, there's three if you have any reputation like you had in the building when you worked with me you got a lot of favors i i like that you said worked with you you're acknowledging i did do work while i was right. here i yes. we have it on record but yep. no, there, there's three of us in student services, or three guidance counselors in student services. They do 90% of the work. Shout out Good to, see to that Morley you and Grant. No, awesome. Oh, no. Awesome. You can move me out of Bedford. Don't expect me to work. <laughs> no. It's the same old Schumacher. Okay. Well, Riffle seems to be working here. Okunde pulling up for three. Oh. oh. Morin grabs the rebound, long to pass to Eunice. Eunice down low to to, uh, to Geary. Oh, Barry down low, the big man. Look, he just he just pushes his way through anything and just like lays it in. Like so the guy doesn't have to jump. Listed at six eight. I mean, I'm just guessing what his weight would be. Two seventy. Yeah. Three. And like like. Like he's an he's athletic 270. Lean. Like yeah, but he's lean. He's not like he's no. He's lean. He's fast. He's athletic. But yeah, six foot eight. When you have that much muscle on you, you gotta be. You gotta be up there. Yeah. Like oh, we don't need him hanging off the rim. Is what I'm saying. No, no. He hangs hey, off the hey. rim. We're paying for new hey, glass hey. real down, quick. Down, down from there. <laughs> Get down. Yeah, and we. We talked about about him being like what, yeah, football coaches got to look at him and be like, yeah. yeah. I don't even know what I don't even know what position you put a guy like that. Like just D line, just push through. Put anything. him on the line. He's playing two. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He's taking up two spots on on the line. Oh, oh, Thompson with the get three. That to go. And look, Barry. He had two smacks oh, at it. Oh, man, to keep it in, in. but Okunde with too much time. Can't give him that. His toe was on the line, so that's about as long of a two-point shot as you can get. Seven-point lead for Murray. We're at the two-minute mark. Two minutes left in the game, or at least in regulation. Foul on the play. And, and we, we were in this exact same spot last night, uh, Walter Murray versus nice. Vincent Massey. No. No, St. FX. St. FX, that's right. And St. FX didn't, didn't let go of the gas pedal, didn't take their foot off. Right, that was Muhammad nice. Yunus splits the D. Look, he, looking like McDavid up there. I know. He, he's done, he does have like, he's the speed cut thing going. He's got like a a really insane first two steps. Like yeah. Pop, pop, and yeah. he's like gone. Yeah. Ochaya drives, gets fouled. He's gonna shoot two. Now, how many of these Walter Murray fans come back to, just, if this if this team to the, goes to the final? To the final? Or do they stay? I, I, I'd no, imagine they'd probably They go home, somebody. they recharge, and every single one of these Walter Murray fans comes back with three of their friends for the final. That's what I'm oh saying happens. My. If if they make the final, and I do not want to get too ahead of myself because it's a nine-point game. Could be narrowed to seven after these couple free throws. This game is not over. Far from it. Far from, from it. From what we've seen thus far, it's, uh, yeah, it's anybody's game. Oh, yeah. Oof, 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 oof. Nice eight point game. Yeah, Ochaya, he's, he's relatively automatic in the charity stripe. Yeah, he is. Missed his first one though, which is uncharacteristic of him. Dylan Morin taking the ball. We got an eight point game, minute 30 left. Crossing things up. Ooh, Ooh has the ball picked. 
Walter Murray's going to maintain possession, but there's only seven seconds left on the shot clock, a minute 23 in the game. What do they got planned for us here? They don't have much time to, to get a shot off here. It's going to have to be something quick. Okay. Some form of a set play, Holly. Nice well Five covered. seconds on the shot clock. There's Holly's Holly. got it. Long three. It looked good coming out. No dice. Barry gets the rebound. Okunde to the corner. Ochaya back to Okunde. Looks like he's going to take it middle. Barry, spin move, hits it. Oh, no, but he gets called on the travel. Yes. That could have been a three-point play because he made it, thought he was going to go to the line. He goes, what? You're calling me on a travel? Yeah, well. Okay. That's the way she goes. And we're into the final minute here. Dylan Walter Moore Murray. slowing things down. Yeah. When, when does Ripple start fouling? He's content to work the clock. Eight seconds left from the free throw line. Doesn't go. Shot clock reset. But Barry, of course, comes up with a rebound. 45 seconds left. Eight point game. Okunde! Oh, yeah, that's, oh, they, that's the game in his hands, you know. They needed that. He needed that to go. You're right, and that was the game in his hands. You, you, you have to hand it to them. You, you hit that three, and it's a different game. Yep, you're, you're absolutely right. Mahati for three. Oh, no go. Rebound still for grabs. Barry doesn't have to jump for it. 20 seconds left. Thompson has it. Outside to Ochaya, Okunde for three. No go, Mahadi picks up the rebound. Eight seconds left. Walter Murray's looking to solidify their spot in the Brit final. When is the last time they've done that? And here we go, folks. You can hear the crowd go wild. Wow. Bumped. Walter Murray making the trip to the final. How many years has it been? In. The Marauders. Holy cow, I can't believe this. I can't believe what I'm seeing. Walter Murray's going to be in the final tonight against Raymond Alberta. 74. Oh, man, Walter I'm excited. Murray hats off. Going. Hats off to Riffle. And, and okay, oh, hats off to Riffle. Hats off to Holy Cross. Those two semifinalists losing narrowly there they play tonight at 7 30 ripple versus holy cross both of those teams had amazing games here today right so yeah you gotta tune in for the final but but tune in for the consolation final right before because it is going to be spectacular all right so we got holy cross facing off against ripple 7 30. you bet and then the final at nine o'clock Raymond versus Walter Murray Collegiate. I think we're going to sign off here. Thank you. We'll see you in a bit. All right, folks. Later.